Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. In today's tutorial, we'll explore how to create a home screen widget in Flutter using a handy package. Our goal is to build an app with a widget that displays a daily quote on the home screen. While we can incorporate widgets on both Android and iOS, I'll focus on demonstrating the process for Android to keep things straightforward. You can also refer to Google's Code Lab for an in-depth understanding of both Android and iOS integration. Let's dive in. Before delving into the code, let's first grasp where the widget is in the context of an Android device. Think of a widget as a visual representation of an app, showcasing essential information. In Android, widgets have a life cycle, involving methods like on update, on enabled, and on disabled. For our purposes, we'll primarily use the on update method to refresh the UI of our widget. Now, let's transition to the code editor. I recommend opening the Android folder of your app in a separate window within Android Studio. This setup facilitates writing native code and adjusting the widget's layout. Don't worry, we won't be dealing with advanced native code. Please wait until the Gradle build finishes. If you also face this type of error then run flutter clean command once, and then try again to sync gradle files. Create a basic widget for our app in Android Studio by right-clicking on the project name, navigating to, new, then, widget. Fill in the details, specifying the maximum and minimum cells for the widget size on the home screen. You can manually achieve this without Android Studio, but it's more time consuming to create XML files. Now change the UI of the widget from the Android Studio based on your requirements. And remove this method as we don't need it. Run the app, and you'll notice a widgets option available. Drag and drop the widget onto your home screen. Voila! Our first widget is ready. Now, let's explore how to share data between our Flutter code and the widget using the home screen package. This package provides a shared preference for storing data from the Flutter side. We can then read this data in native Android code and update the UI accordingly. Shared preferences is a form of local storage in Android, storing key value pair data. For simplicity, we won't use any state management. First, fetch the quote from the API on a button click, update the home screen widget to display the new quote. Add a text widget at the center of the screen to showcase the quote and author name. Upon clicking the floating action button, the API call retrieves a new quote, updating the variable. We use setState to update the screen and call the updateAndroidWidget method to refresh the widget. This method sets the quote in the home widget shared preference object, which provides data on the Android side. Now call the update method to trigger the UI update for the widget, calling the onUpdate method in Android. Here we need to pass the class name of our widget which we have created earlier. When we call this update method this onUpdate method of Android will be called, and our data will be retrieved from the shared preference.
and will be set in these two views, and the widget's UI will be updated. If you'd like to see automatic code refreshing every 24 hours or understand how to track if the app was opened by clicking the widget, please comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button to keep me motivated. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.